Because my world would be a wonderland. It's Universal time. That is right. I am taking a break from Disney and I'm heading to Universal Studios. I highly, 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 highly recommend that you get a season pass or an annual pass to Universal because there's block out dates, there's just the typical humdrum schedule of working at Disney. So if you want to take a break, it's nice to just come to Universal and you can meet Shaggy and Scooby and ride the Hulk and rip ride rocket and it's just super fun. I'm heading to Universal by myself today but that's all right because I enjoy doing things by myself. It's never a problem doing things by yourself and having like a solo day. So I'm gonna get into some trouble today. Hopefully I don't get kicked out of the park because I'm a rebel, you know. I've got to find a parking spot. Okay, that's just that's all right. Just slamming your brakes. That's okay thank you oh and they're from georgia how cute how cute this is where i live right here fort of yeah. yeah i'm about to get so sunburn today. It's not even funny. <laughs> Actually, it is kind of funny because I'm laughing, but you know. It's Dr. Doom and Green Goblin! I'm kind of scared to meet them, but they're kind of, kind of intimidating, but you know. Someone's got to meet them, right? What's up, Doom? What's up, Green Goblin? <laughs> person, right? Especially tall superhero. So that, my friends, is Fear Factor. And I'm going to be looking for someone to come out and do Fear Factor casting with me. Because I have always wanted to be in Fear Factor. Like, not really on, like, on the show Fear Factor, but like the one at Universal. So I want to be looking for any takers. If anyone wants to join me, feel free. Because I will be going someday whenever I'm not at work. And I'm going to win. That's my, it's my bad arm. I'm going to win. See that? That's a winner's arm. No, but on the real, if someone really wants to do Fear Factor with me, I would gladly appreciate it because I am so stoked to be casted for Fear Factor Live. <laughs> Surrender. 
No? That looks so inviting. If only I could afford Butterbeer right now. My life would be absolutely complete. But, as everyone knows, you can't afford anything when you work at Disney. Because all the money you make, you spend on Disney merch. I mean, I guess there's not a problem with that, but when you try and buy things like Butterbeer, it doesn't quite work out. That's where I buy my food, everyone. Come here often? Okay. Hello? Hello? Why is everyone ignoring me? Yeah, so... I don't know if I really want to wait this long for this. Well, I decided to ride it, but it turns out they have a single rider, so I'm... Oh, it just got really dark. So it turns out they have a single rider, so I'm going to ride the single rider, and hopefully it'll only be like 30 minute ride, or 30 minute ride, 30 minute wait, where am I going? Oh my god. Huh, this is so confusing. Well, I just got done riding Rain of Kong. And let me... Let me just start by saying, I don't know how I handled that ride. Uh, so I've never been more scared in my entire life. You know, you're thinking Rain of Kong. Okay, cool, like monkeys. All right, no big deal. I can handle monkeys, I can handle a few trees, I can handle a few bats in a cave here and there, but no, there just has to be dinosaurs. And anyone who knows me at all knows that I absolutely, absolutely despise dinosaurs. Like, if if I could completely erase something from my memory, it would be dinosaurs. And of course, I thought on the end, <laughs> thank you, Renekong cast. Just to let you know, if you want to ride Renekong, be expecting dinosaurs that literally scare your pants off because it happens and I, I oh my god. I'm at a loss for words. Other than the fact that I was super scared and the ride was super intense and gave me an anxiety attack, it was super cool and I do suggest riding it. Unless you really can't stand dinosaurs like me, then don't be stupid and ride it. Oh, that feels absolutely fantastic. I've got a little bit, a little bit wet. Time to move on. Yep. <laughs> That's a no-go. Right, so moving on from the Triceratops because I don't know what I was thinking getting in line and meeting Triceratops and I absolutely am terrified of dinosaurs. Yeah, maybe it's the heat. It's gotta be the heat. Well, it's about time for me to get out of Jurassic Park. <laughs> That is no place for me. And move on to Hogsmeade. See, this is my kind of store. Should they get the zipper at the top? Or not? I'm gonna speak to, to the uh, conductor <laughs> in an accent. Shh, don't tell anyone. Hello, how are you? Doing wonderful, and yourself? I'm doing quite well, how are you? Oh, I'm doing well. Yeah, we can just loop this all day. Yeah, I'm you? good, you? Yeah, good, <laughs> good, yeah, how wonderful. We're grabbing a pic then. Right? We are. Would you like to get a little bit of your friends and I would love to get a selfie. Absolutely, okay. if you prefer me. I'm good. So we've got this one then, yes. yeah? Yes, do you mind just saying? Hello there. This is the conductor. Cheers. Welcome to Hogsmeade. Oh, yeah. this is very, this is very quite sweet. <laughs> <laughs> So it's definitely a serious problem when you don't have enough money to buy butterbeer and you see everyone else around you drinking it. It really kind of breaks your heart a little bit. Just kind of... 
chips off a little piece of your heart. Oh, that train ride was so much fun. I love anything Harry Potter. And now I am in London. I'm gonna get my Diagon Alley on. <laughs> I'm not funny, I'm sorry. Ooh, I also wanna see the shrunken head in the trolley. Oh, I love him, he's so funny. His four, three, two, two, and three quarters is one. I repeat that all the time. He's like my idol, I guess. Sure. <laughs> I love it. Are y'all planning on taking the Nightbus out in time soon? Uh, oh, we're not going anywhere right now. Yeah, we're waiting on a drive. I got you. Yeah. You can't drive? No, long oh, story. Yeah, long, no, long story. story short. Yeah, he can't drive either. No, I'm gonna look how short-handed at the moment. Yeah, he doesn't have a license. <laughs> That's his problem. I understand. Well, do you mind if we take something called a selfie? What is, is that? It, is it gonna hurt? It's not gonna hurt. I'm on. I'm, I'm in Gryffindor. Don't worry. I'm not part Trustworthy of the dark side. Trustworthy Gryffindor. Very right. bright. Right. Yes. If, if I feel a pinch from my bottom, I'm coming down there. Yeah, Sounds you good. Be happy. I'm giving you my word. All right. All right. All right. dark magic for me. I gotta get out of here. Today, he was staring at me, it's funny. Today was a pretty successful day. Once again, I always try to have those. I'm really tired. I've been here for Lord knows how long. I've been here from hours to hours to hours. That's, that's as long as I know. So, I am heading home and I'm gonna take a really long bath because I'm tired and I feel like it'll feel really good. Maybe. In my like five, five by five little bath stuff. So yeah. Well, thanks for watching everyone. And I will report back to you as soon as I can. I gotta get on back to the bump and grind of good old Disney workflow. But I will be on as soon as I can. Please like, subscribe, share, do whatever you want. Thanks for watching. I'll see ya. Cats and rabbits would reside in fancy little houses and be dressed in shoes and hats and trousers.